there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's nice to see you guys. Thank you very much for coming back to another video. So essentially what I have to do today is show you how to create a Hong Kong PlayStation account. This is really simple to do. I posted a video a couple of days ago for how to get into a beta early. And I've been inundated with questions since, so I'm not going to answer individual questions anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to fill my time up with that. I'm just going to point you at this video. What you need to do is select New User. Go to create a user, then accept the system and license agreement. Then of course hit next to go into the PlayStation network. And whenever you get to here, you want to select new to PlayStation network, create an account. Simple enough with us. Okay. You're with us. Keep following. We're not going to be trying anything difficult. This is not going to blow your mind. It's a very simple step-by-step -step process. You go into sign up now, which takes a few seconds to load in and choose the region that you want to log into. Obviously. Yeah. So what I'm saying is go for Hong Kong. The reason why I say Hong Kong, Hong Kong or Malaysia, uh, anywhere that actually has an Asian account, but also has the menus in English. So it makes it easier to fill this in. You can go for a Japanese account if you want, if you want to have to try and read through these menus in Japanese. Now, I wouldn't recommend it for everyone, but it's a perfectly valid way of doing it. So I'm just going to put in a birth date that's not mine. Uh, remember, this is going to be, you're going to want to put all this as accurate information for you because if you ever lose this account, which has happened before to people, uh, example, back whenever there's a hack on the Sony servers, they had to actually reconfirm everybody's details again. And they had to actually like go to your email, put in your personal information. So you want this account to be accurate to you, just saying that you're in Hong Kong. And remember to note down the address that you're going to use. I'm just doing this quickly for the purposes of the video. I'm never going to use this account. I already have my own account that I actually normally use this on. This is just for demonstration purposes. Then, of course, you choose a district, uh, say Hong Kong, Kowloon, or the New Territories, uh, full Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong. Ba, 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 go next I'm just going to grab an address I since you go online all you have to do is search for the format of an actual address like I mean since you all I had to do was put in Hong Kong Hong Kong and I was absolutely fine uh, put in my email address let's just use test at blah 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 dot com Pretty sure this is somebody's real email address, not my email address in any way, shape, or form, but we're just using this for visual demonstration purposes. Uh, password test one, two, three, four. There you go. Oh, hang on, what? Uh, must be ordered. I uh, can't have. No, couldn't say it. <laughs> uh, three, 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 or oh, three, four, two, one, five, six. Oh, I can't have your. Why? Uh, 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 four, four, five, three, two. There we go. <laughs> I'm never going to use this again. I don't care. And why? Four, four, five, three, two. Boom. Yep, that was all right. Both of them match. I want to receive PlayStation services, products and services. I want to receive information. Yeah, you might as well sign up for those. That's probably fine. Remember, the most important thing in this part is that you have to put in a valid email address. I'm not putting in a valid email address now because I don't require this to be validated. But all you have to do is validate your account by clicking the validation link that arrives to the email address after you create the account. It doesn't take long. Literally, it's a matter of clicking the link, loading up the web page, and it immediately works and allows you access to the PlayStation Network and access to the PlayStation Store where you'll be able to pick up any of the games and be able to buy in the seals and to load your wallet and whatever else you need to do. So then we just hit next. There we go. All we have to do is create an uh, online ID, uh, GGGHTFGHT, I'm sure that one's grand. Uh, uh, TGGGTG, blah, 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 blah. Remember, all these things are something that you're going to want to actually remember and write down as an identity, because this is a real identity that you're going to have on the PlayStation Network if you're logged into the Hong Kong account. I use mine regularly. I have a real address that I have set up for my account. I have a real location that I actually have registered with the address of somebody that I've got the situation where I'm I've, I'm okay to use the address. For most other people, they're not going to care. They're just going to literally use an account. But you need to note down everything you write down on the account because if you ever lose the account, you may have to actually recall all that information. Very important, like I said previously in other videos, if the song like the Sony hack happens again, they may ask you to reconfirm your account. And I lost an entire Hong Kong account, an entire Japanese account that had hundreds of pounds of content on them from the PlayStation 3 era because of that hack, because I wasn't able to reclaim that account. But uh, yep, go into that. You can select activities, blah, 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 confirm. Go in like, uh, you can customize this to whatever way you're going to have it for your account. 
Confirm, confirm, confirm. Boom, there we go. Accept personal information collection statement. It's pulling the personal information from that account, of course, and they're going to be keeping it, as is the want and need of any company to be able to sell it on to anybody else. And you will come up with this. The account has been created, and you, all you have to do is verify it. Uh, literally, it'll be verify later, help, or already verified. You'll hit already verified after you've received the email, after you've clicked the link, and bam, that's you on the Hong Kong account. That's literally all you have to do. Literally, that's all you need to do. You know, <laughs> See, it says, if you don't verify it, you have to sign out of the PlayStation Network. That's the only time you have a problem. So otherwise, you verify the email and everything should be absolutely fine. Now, of course, that'll be you on your account, on your console. Uh, saved on the PS4, blah, skip all that. Yes, grab it, grab it, And that's you logged in to the PlayStation Network after you've verified your account. So a perfect example of what it will look like is, of course, uh, just going through all the descriptions for this again. Boom, switch user, go across to my Hong Kong account and... Yeah, you'll be in. And of course, what you need to do is then go into the PlayStation Store, pull down all the betas, buy yourself a PlayStation Plus for a year, and enjoy and reap the rewards of an international connection. And I believe this is actually all I need to say to you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this hasn't been too long, but it literally went through step by step as fast as I possibly could. Explained it to you so that you don't have to ask me this question anymore. Just go and make an account. It's really not that difficult. So just go and try because apparently it feels like a lot of people are just asking me questions without even making a single attempt on their own to try this. So there you go, step by step. You cannot go wrong. Just remember to write everything down if you're not using real information. And I recommend you use real information because it's a lot easier to remember and it is going to be an identity that you own on your console. So you might want to actually represent who you actually are. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this instructional, you want to see more kind of stuff like this, feel free to ask questions underneath, ask questions on the channel, ask questions anywhere you can see this name, Pastiche of Skin. Or of course you can hit the subscribe button that'll be floating up over my head or over there. But whenever it comes up on PlayStation, three, two, bam, there we go. Playlist, um, recommended most recent video over in the far side and way back over here the last time bit is a video designed for you based on your interests. I'm sure it's probably going to be one of the things I've actually put up as a beta or linked you to in some way in the past. But yes, it is there available to you and I hope to see you all very soon again here on the channel. Thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next Q&A answer thingy majigger. Bye.